gone psycho Lil' mama bad like Michael Can't really trust nobody With all this jewelry on you My roof look like a no-show Got diamonds by the polo What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving my review of the MAC and Aaliyah collection, makeup collection. I have been watching certain beauty influencers and certain beauty gurus here on YouTube give their opinion on the collection. I always like to do this whenever there's new makeup coming out or a new collection because it helps me decide whether or not I actually want to spend my money and purchase this. So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been on MAC Cosmetics. I've been on their website just looking at different things and I'm here to give my review but also to give you some facts about the collection and give you some info and certain things that way if you are considering buying the collection or anything from the collection then this video well my goal for this video is to help you decide whether or not you are actually going to buy something so i'm going to be giving you some facts about everything and giving my opinion on everything so if you like these kind of videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, here we go. So starting off, I want to give you some basic information. Now, this collection includes four lipsticks and they are $17.50 each if you buy them individually. And the names of the different lipsticks are Street Thing, More Than a Woman, Try Again, and Hot Like, dot dot dot. <laughs> And then it also comes with two lip liner pencils and each of these lip liner pencils are $18 each if bought separately. And they come in the colors Nevermore and Follow Your Heart. As of today, which is June 23rd, both lip liners are sold out at the moment. I don't know if they plan on restocking. I know this is a limited edition, so I don't know if they plan on restocking again in the future. I will make sure to research that and see and I'll... If I can find anything on it, then I will have it down in the description box. So check that out. Also, it comes with four different lip glasses. And the lip glasses are also $17.50 each if purchased separately. They come in the colors Brooklyn Born, One in a Million, Lily's Motor City, and At Your Best You Are, dot, dot, dot. If you're a true Aaliyah fan, then you would know the rest of those lyrics. And as of today, which is June 23rd, all of the lip glasses except for Brooklyn Born are currently sold out on the website. I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at first, but this is on the website. I'm not sure if they have it in store. I'm pretty sure it will be the same. But as of online on the MAC Cosmetics website, they are sold out. This collection also comes with an eyeshadow palette, which has nine eyeshadows in it. The retail price for the palette is $32 if separate. If purchased separately it comes in different colors or the scheme of this palette is described as a moody deep neutral shades and this is quoted from the MAC Cosmetics website they do have the names of the shadows on the back of the palettes which if you've watched some of my makeup reviews in the past you would know how I feel about that um, but I'll get into that a little bit later but the top row the top three shades from left to right are called love smoke magic more and care for you. The middle row from left to right, the names are Creative Copper, That Somebody, and Princess of Soul. And in the bottom row from left to right, the names are called Deception, Ginger Snap, and Dance in the Dark. Next, this collection also comes with one bronzer powder, and if bought separately, the bronzer is retail for $28 and MAC Cosmetics describes this bronzer as having a sheer coverage. And then they also have it on the website to where if you want to purchase the entire collection, you can order something which is called the Collector's Box on the website. And the Collector's Box includes the 12-piece collection with special packaging, a bandana, a poster, which I think is a poster of Aaliyah, and a limited edition box. And this retails for $250. Now this is everything that comes in the MAC Aaliyah collection. Now this collection was fully released to the public on June 21st, which was only two days ago as I'm recording this. It's the 23rd, so it was only released two days ago. And on the website, as of right now, June 23rd, if you purchase $75 worth of product from the MAC slash Aaliyah makeup collection, then you will receive a free bandana with your purchase. That little extra is available as of right now. I don't know how long that lasts. So before you get your hopes up, I want to just say that as of right now, June 23rd, 
this collection box is sold out on the MAC Cosmetics website, but this uh, collector's box or collection box is basically if you've watched any reviews from any beauty influencers here on YouTube, then you would have seen what the collector's box looks like. It's basically the PR package that was sent to beauty influencers here on YouTube. And you want to purchase this collector's box, then go on YouTube and look up another review of it. Like I said, a lot of the things on, well not a lot, but about half of the collection the different pieces are sold out as of right now. You definitely could purchase $75 worth of items from this collection and get the bandana, but just know that about half of the collection is sold out as of right now, so keep that in mind. I covered the basic info from all of the items included in this collection, and now I want to get back or I want to talk about some of the feedback from the consumers that have bought this collection. Now I looked on the website and I looked at the ratings of the different items of this collection and I want to start off with the bronzer. I'm not going to give my personal opinion about this until the very end of the video. If you do want to see certain parts of the video I will have timestamps down in the description box below but right now I'm going to talk about some feedback from the customers. Starting off with the bronzer, on the website, the bronzer has a rating of 2.3 stars out of 5. This is on MAC Cosmetics website. The main issue I saw with this bronzer from consumers is that um, people said that Aaliyah would not be able to wear this herself. Basically the bronzer, even looking at it you can tell the bronzer is way too light. Everybody would not be able to use this certain bronzer. You would have to be of a certain skin tone and a certain... Um, skin shade in order to use this so if you're like me and you have deeper complexion a deeper skin complexion you would not be able to use this that was the main issue that I saw that people had with this bronzer uh, all of the lip glasses from this collection on the website have a rating of five out of five stars so the lip glasses are very popular in this collection and then the lipsticks from this collection try again has four out of five stars more than has four out of five stars so the lipsticks are fairly popular as well probably not as popular as the lip glasses but the lipsticks have been received fairly well the only thing i really see is that the try again lip shade can be fairly light especially for people with deeper skin complexions just be aware of that people felt were deceiving and the way it looked on one model it didn't look the same on them when they purchased it just a side note just know that how a makeup product looks on one person may not necessarily look the same on you um, because you have to consider a lot of different things um, skin tone, undertone, a lot of different things can make a makeup product look different on you than a model on a cosmetics website. Yeah, but we'll get into that a little bit later with my opinion. And then next, another thing that really caught my eye is that the eyeshadow palette has a rating of 3.5 out of 5 stars on the website. And uh, the main issue that I saw with this eyeshadow palette that people had is that the size of the shadows themselves were very small for the price point of the palette. Now the shadows, everything else, the formula, people seem to like the formula. It seems to be pretty much like a basic, well not a basic, but it seems to be like the rest of the MAC eyeshadows. It seems to be of quality and it seems to be pigmented and beautiful even as one of the consumers said in their review. But the main problem that people are having with this is that the eyeshadow pans and the eyeshadows themselves are just so small in this collection or in this eyeshadow palette itself and the eyeshadow palette retails for $32. So I could definitely see how people would have a problem with that. And the lip pencils on the website have five stars, five out of five stars as of right now. So the lip pencils seem to be very popular as well. That's probably why they have five out of five stars. They're very popular and both of them are sold out at the moment. And now I wanna kinda get into two different reviews that I saw here uh, on YouTube about the different, about the whole collection actually. And one of them is Ellery here on YouTube. I'll have a link down to her or to the video that I'm referencing. I'll have the video down in the description box and I'll have it linked if you want to check it out for yourself. Some of the problems that she had with the collection is the Try Again lipstick. Since Ellery is of deeper skin complexion, she's kind of the same complexion as me or close to. And one of the problems she had was the Try Again lipstick stick shades that it was light for her skin tone and she mentioned that she could pull it off for her skin tone but she would have to wear it with a lip liner and another problem that she had with the collection was the bronzer was too light so she was not able that's not a product that would appeal to her or she would be able to use and another video that i want to reference is from he flawless here on youtube he collaborated with malibu doll face on this review video and the problem some of the problems that they had with this video 
is that the bronzer was too light. Key Flawless kind of thought of it as a skin finish almost but the bronzer was too light and uh, they also kind of had a problem with the packaging. I don't want to necessarily put words in their mouth so if you want to see what they're talking about, hear them explain it. I will also have the video linked down in my description box below if you want to check that out. Okay, so for this third and last part of the video, I want to give my opinion on the things that I've seen, just how I feel about the collection as a whole. Me personally, I love Aaliyah, I love her music. I wouldn't say that I am a diehard fan because the diehard fans know everything about Aaliyah and I I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I'm one of those people because I'm not, but I do love her music and I do consider myself a fan. And so when I first heard that MAC Cosmetics was going to be doing this collaboration, I was pretty excited because I was like, okay, this is cool. You know, they're going to be showing homage to Aaliyah. So I thought that was pretty cool, especially with the fact of if you've been following MAC Cosmetics and the collections that they've been coming out with, they've come out with some pretty good collections as of lately before the MAC and Aaliyah collection. You had the MAC and Selena collection which did fairly well and people really loved that. And even the Patrick Star and MAC collections. He's had three different collections with them and they've all done pretty well. Just seeing how successful the other collaborations were, I was very excited. Or not to mention, you know, Rihanna. She did a, a collaboration with MAC, I think. Just seeing the success of the other collaborations, I was very excited for this Aaliyah collaboration because I felt like, okay, they're going to do really good on this collaboration. So I was just waiting to see, you know, the pictures and everything and what it would look like. And when I first saw the, the pictures, I think it was on their Instagram, I was kind of like, hmm. As far as the packaging, I think the packaging of the collection is cute. Even the PR packaging from what I've seen on YouTube, I think it's cute. I don't necessarily like love it to a high standard, but I don't hate it. I think it's okay. I think it's cute. My main issue with this collection is the bronzer. Just seeing how light the bronzer is, that bronzer is not going to appeal to everybody and everybody is not going to get a fair chance at using that bronzer. As people said on the MAC Cosmetics website, Aaliyah herself, I don't think she would have been able to use that as a bronzer because it was just so light. And I felt like if they were going to do or if they wanted to include bronzers into this collection, I feel like they should have either had, you know, even a small range of like four to five different shades of bronzers included in the collection. More than just one bronzer. They should have had, you know, even if you want to do a small little spectrum, maybe four to six, four to seven different bronzers, either do that or don't include a bronzer at all. Because I feel like, like I said earlier, I just feel like it, it wasn't necessarily fair. You have to have a certain skin complexion and a certain skin tone for this bronzer to be able to work for you. For a lot of people, it it didn't work for them and it's not going to work for them so I feel like that was kind of a, a miss in this collection. Another thing that I kind of didn't care for is the try again lipstick. Like I said I am a woman of color and so certain lipsticks you know we have to kind of finesse a little bit. I don't know I just don't like the shade as well. I like having lipsticks to where I don't have to necessarily have a lip liner with it in order for it to work if that makes sense. This lipstick personally would not be for me I do think that people of color could pull it off, but you definitely would have to wear it with a lip liner. Another thing that I want to say is I love the lip glasses, just the look of them. Mainly Lily's Motor City. This gives me rock the boat vibes. Like I really love this lip glass and I would actually consider purchasing this myself. But yeah, I think the lip glasses are very pretty. The only one that I don't really care for that much is the one named Brooklyn Born. I guess a lot of people kind of agree with me because that is the only lip glass on the website as of now that is not sold out. You would have to watch other videos and other people swatch them and swatch it on their lips mainly. I, I don't care for it that much but the other lip glasses I like. And now if you're still at a point to where you're considering whether or not you should buy this whole collection or buy anything from this collection. I'm going to break it down for you even more before I end this video. I would say if you are a huge Aaliyah fan or a huge Aaliyah fan, a huge Aaliyah stan, or you love collecting limited edition makeup, I would definitely recommend that you purchase this. If you fall into any of those categories, then I would say definitely give it a try. Me personally, if anything, I would get one or two of the different lip glasses. Those are the only things that really, really appease to me 
and caught my eye and those are the only ones that I'm truly interested in buying. Like I said, Ely's Motor City, that lip glass is sold out right now. But if I have money when it's back in stock, I would love to purchase that because I think it's a beautiful color. And I would say if you are planning on purchasing anything from the collection and you're only purchasing certain pieces, I would say if the collection comes back in stock with the things that are sold out right now, I would suggest getting the lip pencils and some of the lip glasses. And that's only if this stuff comes back in stock. Like I said, I don't know. I will try to find out and have that down in the description box. I would definitely say the eyeshadow palette, I don't think you really need to purchase that. My opinion is that the eyeshadows themselves are way too small for $32. That's way too, the size of the shadows are way too small for a $32 value point. And I feel like the palette would need to be bigger. And people have said that the formula, you know, the formula is good and everything. And, you know, they're beautiful shades. But I just feel like they're so small, the, the shades are kind of basic. And when I look at that eyeshadow palette, I don't necessarily think Aaliyah. That's just me personally. And I would definitely say, unless you are light enough to actually use the bronzer from this collection, I would say you can definitely skip that on that. I know I will. Because that will be a waste of money that will be a waste of $28 so I hope that this video helped you if in any way to help clear up some things if you were confused about the prices or anything I hope that this video helped to clear some things up if you have some questions about the collection please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to help you as best as I can um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you like me doing these types of videos and if you do leave a comment down below and let me know what other uh, makeup item or makeup collection you would like me to research and do a video on. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.